a few minutes uh, left to sum up some of the reactions around Europe. And I'm joined for that by Nina Schick with the Open Europe Think Tank. Now, you uh, are independent, but you've been talking about European reform for a long time. You could say that's moot now, now that Britain is crashing out of the Union altogether. And I want to put to you Nigel Farage's words, the UKIP uh, spokesman saying, we've left behind a failing political union. British voters agreed with him. Well, I think it's very clear that this is a huge blow to the EU. So I think the priority for the rest of the EU right now is to gather around and firefight. We're already hearing of contagion on the euro, on the markets as well, not just the UK. So they're going to have to make a very strong political statement, which is why we're going to hear German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President François Hollande speaking imminently that this is not the end of the EU and they will rally together. And part of that also means not giving Britain too favourable terms in its exit deal. And interestingly, some European politicians have already been saying that this Article 50, so the, Brexit, the exit clause, needs to be triggered quickly, that they can't wait until the Conservative Party conference for that to happen. And also a lot of changes, a lot of um, kites being flown already. In Spain, for example, there has been talk about Gibraltar. Indeed. So the Spanish foreign minister has already suggested that the UK should share sovereignty with Spain. In his words, he said the, rock, the flag is moving closer to the rock. And of course, there's also been other interesting chatter in Europe about how they would welcome an independent Scotland back into the EU. So certainly that has been going into the debate this morning. And certainly for Scottish voters, Scotland and voted heavily to remain. If you look at the online chat, the social media, Indie Ref, another independence referendum is already trending and that pressure is building up very fast. Undoubtedly, this was a Brexit vote composed of Wales and England. Northern Ireland and Scotland voted massively in favour of Remain. And we've already had Scottish political leaders suggesting that we will have a new independence referendum within 30 months. Now, in a situation where we are now, where we're already facing economic, political chaos and a constitutional crisis, the added potential threat of Scotland or perhaps Northern Ireland leading the Union is not something to be taken lightly. And just briefly, we haven't got much time, but I noticed the Foreign Secretary, Philip Hammond, standing right here a little while ago, said the bellwether issue here is going to be sanctions against Russia over Ukraine. UK was such a strong voice for continuing those sanctions. Absolutely. I mean, the UK played a fundamental role in having pushing a hard line on Russia when other EU countries were wavering, notably France and Italy. And it was the UK that really pushed the sanctions through. So it remains to be seen, I think, without the UK, that's going to waver, certainly. A lot up now for change. It's all moving very fast. Nina Schick, thank you very much.